Hey guys, it is Tanya, and welcome back to the channel, and welcome back to another speed build. We're doing something a little bit different today. You might notice by the thumbnail, the title, what's on screen right now. Um, so around Halloween, <laughs> I decided it would be a fun idea to build a house that looks like a crewmate, or maybe it's an imposter. That will be for you guys to decide and then make the interior of this building look a bit like a combination of some of the different maps you can play in the game Among Us. Not sure if you've heard of it. I feel like uh, everyone has at this point. Uh, it's, it's really fun. Uh, it's a game where you lie to your friends and murder everybody. Um, <laughs> you're essentially on a spaceship with a bunch of other people. You're given these tasks you need to complete and there are one or two or three, depending on your settings, people who are actually imposters pretending to do tasks and their main objective is to kill everybody. And uh, this is what these little guys look like. I think they're kind of cute and it's a really fun game. And uh, so I was uh, interested in creating one in The Sims. Uh, so that's what you're seeing on screen now. Um, like I said, the inside ends up being a combination of a couple of different maps, but it's mostly based on Skelt. Uh, the other two I always get confused, but I used a couple of things that were loosely from that. Like I have a vent that's more like a hole in the ground instead of a vent. Uh, but you'll see that when we get to the inside. And I ended up using orange for the color of this one. We were building this a couple days before Halloween. Uh, I actually streamed this over on Twitch. And uh, everyone really wanted an orange one as we were close to Halloween at that point. So that's what I ended up doing. And I put the little green uh, leaf on top of the head. I was like, it could be a carrot. So uh, yeah, that's, <laughs> that's what the story behind this is. Also, that was a really fun stream because after we worked on this, we actually played Among Us with people on stream uh, for a few hours. And I I'm really bad at it, but it was really fun playing Among Us with you guys. Uh, I'd be totally down to do that again at some point. And if you have no idea what I'm talking about, I do a lot of content over on twitch.tv slash missgriffy as well. We do a bunch of Sims building. That's primarily what I do, like this build right here. But I also sometimes play Animal Crossing and we've done Among Us once, but I'm totally open to doing it again because it was so much fun. And uh, yeah, so on the inside here, you can kind of see I sectioned off a room to sort of be med bay. This is going to be a cafeteria type area where I'm putting the emergency button and uh you know, I thought the round tables were more important than being the right color because the tables themselves are blue. So I made the chairs blue and then the tables are just brown, but they're round. And uh, like I said, it's loosely inspired. So not everything I'm placing down is like, this is exactly where it is in this room. Because I just wanted to get the idea of the game in here, especially because I'm not building the map. This isn't the scaled map. This is a crewmate or imposter. <laughs> this is what's inside of them. I could have made it a lot weirder. But I thought being inspired by the game would be a good way to go. And also, I tried to make it fully functional as a livable home if you'd like to live in this for some reason. So uh, there's that. Uh, I had to include a kitchen in order for that to be true. So we have a kitchen over here, which felt really weird to include in this. But uh, I did my best. Hopefully you like how it came out. And um, we're pausing. We're pausing. Tanya, did you not edit that out? I don't think I edited out that pause, but that's okay. We're back at it. Uh, I did use these base game counters that I believe you get for leveling up in, you like unlock through the culinary career. I vaguely remember that. I, I always just unlock everything when I'm building, uh, but I'm pretty sure that's where those come from. And I thought having like some safety signs, some like, um, the fire extinguisher. I also have just lots of a miscellaneous like technology type stuff around the space that just felt like it fit on one of the ships from this game. Uh, so you'll see a lot of that. Like, what is that item supposed to be? I have no idea. It just made sense for this space to me. So and also window placement was really difficult because I didn't want it to take away from the outside shape or look out of place. But I also really wanted to have windows so you could see outside. The other thing that was a little bit difficult was because this was only inspired by some of the different maps in the game. It wasn't entirely just a map. I didn't have space for all of the different rooms in here. So obviously I have cafeteria. I'm putting in some crates here to be like a storage area. And then navigation, communications, and weapons are all kind of one room. And then I have like a med bay, which is what I used for the bedroom because obviously it has beds in it. 
Uh, but right now I'm outside and I'm trying to get some of the different shading that there is on the little helmet that there is. Uh, and so how I did this was way too many circular rugs. This little base game circular rug, I just, I placed a lot of them. I came back and fixed this a bunch of different times. It was definitely a struggle and uh, I'm pretty happy with how it came out. As for the flooring outside, I just wanted it to look like they were standing on the ground against a wall right near either a download or a wiring task. So that is what that was out there. And then inside, I'm just trying to do some decorating here. I'm just like, oh, it's a little bit too bare bones. Let's add some extra piping and slats on the walls and all that sort of thing. I also added two trash cans in here. I kind of wanted a regular one, but I also felt like it'd be a missed opportunity not to use the more advanced futuristic one that gives you money when you throw things out. So that's in here as well. And then in the bathroom, I'm going to change this later, but at first I decided to put down just the talking toilet because I thought, you know, that's, that's futuristic. But then I decided to base uh, the bathroom off of one of the maps that's not scaled that I don't, I don't know the names of them. I know one of them's Polis and I don't remember what the other one is called. Uh, but there's one that has bathroom stalls and there's a vent in one of the stalls. So that's kind of what I vaguely inspired the bathroom off of a little bit later. I also kind of turned storage into a living room space. So there's the crates in the middle, there's some TVs, and then there is that booth that actually came with the Star Wars pack. I felt like it fit in here pretty nicely. I also used a ton of these garage doors to kind of block off windows and stuff. I thought it just added to the aesthetic I was going for and lots of just bars and pipes and just ra random decorations that felt right and uh, adding a little bit of an accent wall in the kitchen to make it just a little bit different. Uh, in Midbay, I do end up changing the colors of the beds and later on you'll see me swap one of them out for a hospital bed. I only did it with one of them though because it's not functional to sleep in. So I wanted to make sure there was function. And then here in the bathroom, as you can see, I did add that toilet stall with like a hole under it. I was thinking that would be the vent. And uh, of course the decan decontamination shower is in there. And then some of these vent like um, rugs I put around just to imply that they could be vents. And then this is gonna be the room that's mostly navigation, but also weapons and also communications so it's it's a little bit of a weird room at first I started off like this but I end up turning these desks to be facing the bottom part of the leg here and opening up a window so that there are like controls and you can see what you're doing like you're actually in navigation uh, I don't know I had a lot of fun with this one uh, I think this room came out pretty cute in the end even though it is a couple of different rooms. Obviously, there's plenty of rooms I did not include. Like, there is no admin here. Thank goodness, because, like, that card swipe kills me. I am so glad I did not add admin. Does anyone else struggle with card swipe? When I streamed, I, I it must have been at least 10 or 15 times in a row that I failed it on stream. It was just infuriating. <laughs> It's just so difficult, but I put the listening device in here that was supposed to be kind of like communications. You can see the um, the little satellite type zappy thing and I have like an asteroid with gems on it floating in the middle of the room kind of to represent when you have to shoot all the asteroids. I'm really bad at that too. I miss them so much and that is not a fun one to have when you're playing hide and seek in Among Us, just saying. Not a fun one to have, not at all. Uh, right here, I'm just putting some random decorations on the walls in Med Bay. I felt like it was a little bit not done, boring. I did change this all later, but right now I'm just experimenting with it because I felt like it needed something. So yeah. Also, I added a mirror in the bathroom. Felt like it was missing that. Uh, like I said, I just wanted this whole place to be functional, even though it's kind of a weird build and probably not what you would want your Sims to live in. I still wanted that function and here I am swapping out one of the beds for a hospital bed because it made more sense, but I didn't do it with both because I wanted there to be an actual sleeping area. I guess you could nap on the couch or the, the booth that's in the storage area, but uh, if you wanted to actually sleep, sleep. <laughs> I wanted to make sure there was a bed for that and adding like the hospital sign and stuff in here. Just a couple more decorations uh, before we head on into screenshots. I hope you enjoyed this really weird build. And of course, if you want to see the whole process, plus me playing uh, playing some Among Us, 
with you guys. I will have a link down below to the full stream of when this was created. Uh, but we're going to be heading on into screenshots. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. You can also subscribe to the channel if you have not already. And if you click that bell, it'll turn on notifications to be notified of every single time I upload a new video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you all soon. Bye everybody.